Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Hentai. Let's do this. <laughs> when does it get scary? Doki doki. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Markiev, baby, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, on our previous three episodes, I apologize for all the hentai. I thought this was going to be a short game, but it's not. So, on these episodes, these next episodes, what we're going to do is power through them. I'm going to read them again with my voices, but no more, no more, no more of the, the hentai and no more of that stuff. We're just going to power through it. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna go through this and oh my gosh, I forgot what load game I have to do. Um, 2015, August 26th, yes. Let's power through it together. Okay, yeah, so I remember this. We're gonna show our poem to Yuri, last person. And Sayori left, so that's kind of weird. All right, let's do this. Question, or period, period, period. Marky F, baby. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you show me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come to me. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. I I is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This, this feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're good at something and you've never sh even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles, smiles sadly. Marky up, baby. During lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But, books are so full of, ma of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people j you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it th that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? It's kind of sad, but okay. And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. You have a you have a great body type. Trust me. As a anime character, you do. Or manga, whatever it is. And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Marky up, baby. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as a normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. Jesus Christ, you have problems. You gotta see someone. I have all these feelings. And all I could do and all I could do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. Oof, I'm flattered. That I really understand what was missing at this all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Marky up, baby. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined the club hoping I would make friends. And I would have, and I would have at least, oh, oops. And I would have had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she, but this time she's smiling as she does, as she does it. You want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Okay, Ghost Under the Light Part 2. 
The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing in the distance a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the street light, I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds, he raises his arms. Tune stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is the rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me far from succumbing to this forbid forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Cool. Cool poem. I like it. A+. plus. Finishing the poem, I started to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Dot, 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 dot. Do you dislike it? Ah, ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems un Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. Seriously, what, 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 what was that one about? Also, this clearly isn't the poem that Natsuki said she wrote about. Meaning I'm probably the one... Meaning I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. I, I don't know, I'll be able to explain this one. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That, that's fine. I understand this one. Dot dot dot. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we, and I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can. Um, the poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, baby girl Yuri. Yuri nods. I'd, I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back to me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we could talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her home away. Okay. Okay, you three! We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a sec! Is it just me or did I say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C -c catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ew. Stagnating air is com common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh god. In your books, maybe. Look, the only different thing is that Sayori isn't here. That is really weird. Where is Sayori? Ah, it seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the, where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Is this me, like, in my head? The, with the italicized font? Calm down, guys. I talked to her early and everything is fine. You probably messed with her head, yo. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Woohoo! Monica deviated, deviated, from my question. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing! That's right! Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, 
Yuri, you can. Uh, um. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I. I'm useless. No, 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 no. That's right, not at all. Uh, that's not at all. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. No, 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 Natsuki's pouting too. What? No, 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 Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on when you sh on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have to, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Um, about that, I, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Marky up, baby. The one who is truly useless. Ah ha ha ha, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Oh, that's... Is Monica suggesting... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Oh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Markia Baby may not like to be around you. Wait, what? Markia Baby may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to be assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Markia Baby too. Well, what are you saying? It will be extremely meti meticulous work. That's a dollar word. And baking isn't, isn't it? Uh, and baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it will be Marky. In the end, I think it's up to Marky Baby to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said. I I'm surprised as well. So sorry, so sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Marky, yeah, baby, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, oh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Okay, we're gonna go. Ooh. Oh, oh, Sayori. Should we visit Sayori now? Let's check up on. No, let's go see what else, what's up with Monica. Well, I guess I should probably help be helping Monica. Yay! You picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Uh oh, things are getting heated. Heated. Eh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already just. Not only is your work most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Marky, our baby, was the one who. Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him to picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? Well, what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with the ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't be... Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do, you know? We won't do as a good... We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If you want our, if we want our event to succeed, then we sh need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh, so are you going to do this right? <laughs> so are you going to do the right thing, President? <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Sigh. It's technically most logical for Markia Baby to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Markia, baby? Okay, so we can't pick Monica. Let's see what happens if we go see what's up with Sayori. I mean, I mean, if it's going to be anyone that I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and 
But Monica said... Monica said that Sarah was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No, no, no! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. What? I can't choose- So you can't choose Monica and you can't choose Sayori. Alright. So it just comes down to Natsuki and Yuri. We're picking Yuri, of course. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Sayori- or er, Yuri. And me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, no, no. I was just saying. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Markia, baby? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking things, these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's... That's great to hear. Natsuki will be able to... Able, uh, Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go... To go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Markia, baby? Me? Oh, uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. I didn't even- I didn't even do anything. No, no, no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Markia Baby picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I have ever had. They really go well with my tea. And nothing that I could- And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Well, why? Um, well, I'm the one acting... I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know, I'm just... I, I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are sudden... Monica and I are also taken back by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of it. But I'm glad to say this. Question mark. You better... You better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, oh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh um. Eh? -eh. I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any of the... Wait, I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you, contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Yeah, take my digits. I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I, Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. My house. <laughs> my house. <sighs> eh? My house. I is that a problem? No, not at all. I don't know if mommy and daddy will be alright with that because, you know, we're in high school and everything and I got a beautiful woman with me. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. Oh, oh I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like... It's not like it should matter. It... It's not like it should matter much more either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not as ne I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Markia, baby. I think that you'll- I think that we'll make a very productive team. Sorry, that took me so long to read. Even if you only chase- Chase? Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. 
You don't actually think that, do you? Dot dot dot. I don't know. It's difficult to, it's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But what? Yuri thinks to herself with an, with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward. And I'm really. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. Woo! We are beaming through this. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do it with, with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. See, look at all this in the window I could put in there. This, this insinuation. It's crazy. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like, it's not like we feel that that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Oh, take a breaky break real quick. Wow, the weekend already passed, it's Sunday. What happened Friday and Saturday night? It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Ooh, see insinuation. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been meanwhile we've been texting occasionally. Hey, you up? She was, she was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing about Sayori since she left the club early the other, the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Ooh. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the floor, so I assume, assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run out, down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Markia, baby. I sit down in her room. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of, si minute of silence between us. You haven't come up over like this in a long time, have you? Oh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is a messy is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> You came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... This music... Jesus... <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided about the last... Well, Sayori had already left by the time we decided the last that last meeting. Monica told me, it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival festival preparations, right? Oh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan a meetup or anything. Oh, so it's just me and Yuri, then? Yep. There's more silence between us. We could help each other in the same room, though. 
Sayori stares in the random in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's not good, Marky up, baby. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get it so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? What is she talking about? Punishment? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. Punished for being so selfish? What is going on? I think that's why... I think... I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about you. Uh, it. Ah. Uh. Ah ha ha ha. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in the trap, Markia, baby. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make it... You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Markia, baby? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've, re I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? What are you talking about, baby girl? Chill out. You are worth something. You are worth a lot. Especially to, to Marky up, baby. Come on. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste my... Waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Dot dot dot. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just not to think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you're... Why is it that you've never told me about this? It's all... It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your f close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make it. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. Guys, tell your friends when you're feeling this way. This is some deep shit going on. You don't understand at all, Marquia, baby. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted... Oh, then you would have to waste effort caring about in me instead of doing important things. This is important, though. Don't ever feel that way, guys. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a, bit, a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> that's, a, that's dark as fuck. That's why I, that's why I always... Uh, that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. Why? So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing- Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ah. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Marky up, baby. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally show you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was I was selfish, and I was punished by heart. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. Stop. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. 
Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, Markia, baby. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have it any other way. Markia, baby. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite, despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Markia, baby. I... Sayori, Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know what I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it to let, be, let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently Sayori, uh, Gently Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of the feel of my feelings, Mark, yet, baby. The only time I'm not feeling anything is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, as she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori so wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I would really. That if you really did, if you really, if you did that, then I really wouldn't figure forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along with? At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Siri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good, very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Oh. It's ca it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about me too much. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. We're not going to see her tomorrow probably. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I should be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Oh, uh, Yuri? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, wow, you're wearing something different. Thank goodness. You're a little too- you're a little- <laughs> You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Ahahaha. 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 I cleaned it before you came over, so. That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no. I'll be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. What the hell? I. Pause. Drink some drink real quick. I would really be embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. 
Oh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in, pro in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. What do I have in that desk drawer? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her laps. She puts her both. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making more, making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, ar aromatherapy, candles. Mood lighting, aromatherapy, candles. What? Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great! It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to save, yo. Whatever. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. What? I think that would be amazing, don't you? No! Yeah, that would be really neat. See? What I'm talking about with this insinuation crap? What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar to, Not familiar at all. Yeah. Not familiar at all. Ah, oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive, positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through the through your body. Dollar word. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine scent. This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for an event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing your po our poems? It does sound. It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a little bit of- Excuse me. But you seem to know a little- But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll, I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the original origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need it. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah. What will that? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper into ribbons to create a doorway doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I get a little intense as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something like sh something that she enjoys. Here's a marker marker yet, baby. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I s finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, oh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. 
I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife? Ho oh, ho ho no. 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 The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves, waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no, ar that's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're gonna think it's, you're gonna think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each, to each their own, you know. If you promise, you won't be weirded out. Yo, check that out. I just noticed. I just noticed. You already got a thigh gap. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Oh no. Nope. Nothing out of the or n nothing ordinary here. Nothing out of the ordinary here, guys. Just completely cool. She likes knives. I I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craft craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Ooh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's well, it's an in well, it's well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it's, but I think it kind of suits you. Suits me. Yeah, it's kind of intense. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, it's really cool. Besides, it's a really... Nah. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. Is it? Isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expen expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. What are you high school students doing with fancy knives yo fancy ass knives what the hell where do you even get a knife like this well then again people are running around with ar-15s nowadays so curious curious of its sharpness i feel the point of my knife point of the knife with my index finger Ooh, marky up baby why did you do that i didn't expect it to be that sharp i barely touched it at all it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Oh no. Here takes my hand and gives gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and notice noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the what the hell? I'm telling you, yo! Insinuate! Insinuate million dollar word. Yo, look it up. This is what this game is doing. I'll read that again. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Hentai. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Y'all be like clickbait and shit, but come on, come on. I'm, I'm powering through this now. So no fancy hentai edits, but come on. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri! That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. Or, ugh. Oh. Sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yeah, I guess that's what, what high school do students do nowadays, you know? I mean, college, I get it, but high school? Come on. Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. You just sucked my finger. That's all. 
She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Let me read that again. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Marky, a baby. Did, did you really just do that? And now we're even. Nah, 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 now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not, if not for the sweet aroma, aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Marky, a baby. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calls me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Oh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each as we each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's not cut knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and it will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great! Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move into the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint table tablets. Ah, oh, that's right! One of the items Yuri has had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolored paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to... I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips even then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pu sleeve pulling it back over her arm. Ah, oh, nothing. Your face is a little- your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or something? Is it too hot- hot here or anything? Ah, oh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong- there's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Oh, God. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablet, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sur sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the, at the front of the classroom. Ah, oh, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri, Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite sides so we don't get in each in the way of each other. Yuri brushes and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of, a, of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, oh, I'm sorry this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one, an, one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me anyway th uh, Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it makes takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. 
I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you would understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kia! Sorry. S Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. So sorry I had. Sorry I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh, your face! There are droplets of paint, paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh my god, baby girl. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Oh. Is something wrong? It's hot. Oh, sorry. It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started. I start to attack my hand. <coughs> but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah? Uh? I, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze envelop envel enveloped. Or is it enveloped or enveloped? Enveloped, I think that's the word. Enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently half through slightly parted, parted lips. What, what is happening? Is it, is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's, ge Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movement seems clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. Dollar word. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it will be best to leave it here, then we you could bring it uh then have you bring it in the morning. I could do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything for us to do for us to do here. You ha <laughs> ha. You say like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about the, about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. Uh, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. See what I mean about this? Why don't you just communicate with her that you want to hang out with her and then just, you know, that you wouldn't have to do deal with all this crap. Well, well... Yuri thinks to herself, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all our things, Yuri seems to, to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it could happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her to the front of the, of the door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. 
because we can do it again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can hang. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forget you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Dollar word. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so. You're very thoughtful, Markia, baby. Yuri takes a step close to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Ho ho, you are close, baby girl. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls me back. Pulls back. Just a Sayori? Eh? Eh? Ah. Oh. Hi, Markia, baby. Sayori! Just now we weren't. Eh hey, hey, hey. It's okay, Markia, baby. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm all. I'm already on my way to leave. Ah, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But well, why is the music gone? But we'll all be able to. We'll, we'll. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so. So that's fine, right? Of course. So your Sayori beams. Yeah. So. I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly, clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was be being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See- See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you get to her, got to her. It makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends with her. Jesus Christ, we can all just be friends. Not in a bad way, just all be friends. What's wrong with that? That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Markia, baby? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Don't say that. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Markia, baby. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? What is Monica saying to Sayori, yo? Dot, dot, dot. Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this... I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you is like caring... Caring about you... Caring about you like this isn't the burden of your mind, is making it out to be. What? Let me read that, like, not in the voice, because I was... Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if, ta if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But what? Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Markia, baby. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? See, I could put a lot of stuff there, but I'm not. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Markia, baby? I like you as... I like you so much that I want to die. Don't say that shit. Don't stop. That's how I feel. And, and. There's enough Marky F baby for everyone, come on. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still, do you, st wait, wait, wait. Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. E even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Whoa. Whoa, these are deep. These are deep. What should we say? I love you. You'll always be my dearest friend. I don't know. Actually, this is a really good place to stop. So, we're going to choose on the next episode. Again, we're just going to power through it like we're doing now. No more of the hentai. I'm really sorry about the hentai. I thought this would be a short game, but it's not. This game takes forever. 
I'm like at what part six right now. It's insane. Anyway, we'll pick one of these choices of the. We'll pick one of these choices choices on the next episode. Marky F baby out. I'll see you soon. Peace. Chill the f*** out, guys.